Good morning. I am just having breakfast, so I've got my my oats, and you just maybe make you see me make my coffee, full cup of coffee. Uh, so I'm going to eat this now, and then get into training. Haven't looked at today's training just yet, um, but it should be good. You should enjoy it. So I'm going to get this down, and uh, I'll see you later on for my AM session. It is currently. Half eight in the morning. What's going on guys? Just finished my morning uh, morning conditioning. Um, just an hour, hour five it took me about. But yeah, as you can tell by the just ending session. But yeah, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna go over why I use heart rate monitor and then also my watch. So yeah, just to give you an idea, I use um, I use a Polar Polar Vintage V, um, and that comes with a H10 heart rate monitor. But pretty much, why I use it for CrossFit and conditioning, don't really use it for Metcons. Um, the Metcons is for, I want to say Metcons, like workouts, like just all out sprints. Don't use it for that really. Um, I might wear it and then at the end I'll, I'll wear the hat rate monitor and then the watch will just be up by the side somewhere, not have the watch on me. And then at the end um, I'll have a look at my heart rate and see my peaks um, and stuff like that. So throughout the workout, I can see what raised my heart rate and what didn't, um, but not too fast when it comes to Metcons. But when it comes to intervals, especially, um, I love using it for interval training and um, cyclical work or monostructural work. So I suck going long um, and running, so at the moment, currently training cycle, I'm going on runs twice a week. And the goal is to keep my heart rate below 150. So I started off running um, 30 minutes. So I'll run 30 minutes, keep my heart rate below 150. And each week, slowly increasing it. I'm up to 45 minutes now trying to keep my heart rate below 150 and all I'm seeing from that is as I progress through the run it's harder to keep my heart rate down so to start with I can push the pace um, so I can run a K in about five minutes um, so I'm holding about a seven eight minute mile something like that for the first like 10 15 minutes slowly getting to like 20 minute mark. And then once I get to the 30 minute mark, I'm down to like 10 minute miles. And now I'm in the 45 minute range. I'll probably try to keep it down again. And I'll probably be in the 11 minute mark, somewhere around that. So I can see as I'm slowly up in time, my heart rate's slowly increasing. And it's hard to keep it down. I gotta really pull that pace back to keep my heart rate below um, that threshold. So that's what I'm trying to do with my long um, running pieces is trying to keep my heart rate steady so increase the time and keep my heart rate the same. So what I'm trying to do is control the heart rate over long distances. Um, 
So that's how I use it when it comes to aerobic work, long conditioning pieces. I can do the same on the bike, um, ski erg, stuff like that. Just trying to keep a steady heart rate for go long periods of time. For intervals, um, I use it for a couple of things, depending on what the movements are. See what spikes my heart rate, what lets my heart rate come down, and also how fast I recover between intervals. Oh, my wrist click then. So just then, um, I done ten minute AMRAP as a just easy to like warm up. Rest five minutes into five sets of a four hundred meter run, a thousand meter on the C two bike. 60 double unders, rest two minutes, do that five sets, rest five minutes and a 10 minute um, am wrap, easy just to finish, um, to finish with. So on the intervals, um, hopefully I can get some clips, if I can, I put my heart rate monitor, um, or my heart rate diagram here. Um, but pretty much on the run and the bike, my heart rate was stick was sitting around um, between 160, 165, especially towards the end um, on the last couple of sets, which I looked at. But then on the double unders, every time I finished the double unders, going into my rest, my heart rate would peak. Um, every time I looked, it'd be like a 170, 171. So my heart rate would jump up from 165 from the bike up to 170, which is red zone in on the double unders. So I know double unders spike my heart rate. Um, I'd like, I'd love to say um, I can recover on the run and bike. I cannot, not just yet anyway. But it's good to see that I can keep a steady um, heart rate on those two exercises. And then during the rest, so I'd finish the double unders heart rate about 170. And then as I got on to um, after the rest, so two minutes rest, my heart rate was coming down to about 130, I think, roughly. If I do recall, look at my watch, I'd see about the 130 mark, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, that just gives you an idea on how I use it for intervals, see what spikes my heart rate, what brings it down, and also how fast I recover um, between intervals. So it's just a good way to see how fit you are. The quicker you recover between intervals, the fitter you're getting pretty much. So where I can drop from 170 down to 130 over the next couple of weeks, what should see if I keep progressing is maybe 165 on the double unders. Um, so I'm getting fitter and slowly get those double unders into a more aerobic um, movement. So instead of anaerobic and my heart rate's jumping, my quads are blowing up, my calves are blowing up, it's more of a recovery and it's like running, just find that rhythm and just keep going double unders. So hopefully see my heart rate lower on the double unders, so I'm not redlining on them. And then also during that two minute rest, my heart rate goes from 130 to the lowest, to about like 110, maybe 120, somewhere between there. And it just shows I am getting fitter um, over the weeks. So yeah, definitely use it for intervals and long aerobic pieces. Um, not so much on Metcons. But it's amazing this, especially the vintage, I don't know what Alf Polar offers, but this watch here, um, tracks your sleep, um, and they've also updated it now, so it, it tells you to um, like recover, stuff like that. So it gives you your daily strain, tracks your sleep. Um, so yeah, today is telling me to uh, to go for it. I'm in the green. Yesterday I was in the red. It was saying I was strained um, because I haven't used it for a while. Um, it does take a while to accumulate to your training volume. So the more you use it and sync it with your computer, it starts learning about you, your heart rate, um, your strains, and stuff like that. The amount of times you train, 
and like I said, your heart rate spikes in that, and it puts all the data together, and over the months or weeks, it slowly gets better and better and gives you more accurate uh, data. In the morning, it also asks you questions. Um, so it asks you, are your muscles feeling strained than normal? Yes or no? Um, do you feel stressed or something like that? Then normal, yes or no? And how well you slept? So you can answer those three questions. And again, it just feeds, gives the watch some data. So when you do sync with your laptop, there's a little more data to accumulate and build some background on you. And also I do a, um, a HIV test. So three times a week, I go for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I just put the strap on um, in the morning. On my watch, I go into settings. Then I go to test, um, test heart rate or something like that. It says, um, let's have a look. So, tests, orthostatic tests. So it's got two tests, um, orthostatic test and then fitness test. So orthostatic test, stat, the test with a heart rate sensor. So you check your sensor on, tells you to lay down for, I think it's a minute. So you lay down for a minute and it tells you to stand up. You stand up for a minute. And then, so today I've done it and it's telling me uh, your cardio system is recovered. Yesterday it was telling me I wasn't recovered. So slowly starting to get to uh, know my body now and how I'm feeling. And it gives you a couple of data then. Some uh, marks, so heart rate rest, 53. HRV, 116, heart rate peak, 85. And then, um, so that heart rate rest is that minute laying down. And it's got heart rate standing. So when you stand, it is, mine is uh, 98. And HRV standing is 13. So it gives you a couple of some datas there. Like I said, if you sync it with your computer, it gives you some data and again I'll show it, you some diagrams on the screen now um, and throughout the video I'll show my heart rate, uh, my date, my weekly strains, I'm just kind of show some data about the, the Polar watch or the Polar Vintage for sure and the, how the H10 works. Uh, it syncs with Strava as well so it gives you some great data on Strava, syncs it straight to that, all your activities so it's pretty much spot on. But yeah, that's why I use Harry Monitor. I had a couple of questions on uh, why I use it, or also um, should CrossFitters use heart rate monitors. Um, so that's why I've just done this quick video, 10, 10 12 minute video on uh, why I use heart rate monitors. So hopefully this helped. Um, how to answer your questions. If you do have any, post them below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as possible. If you do like this video and you want to see more, please hit that like button. The more likes this video gets, the more YouTube spreads the love because it shows um, people like this video. So it'll show it to more people um, looking for this kind of information and also if you haven't subscribed just yet please hit that subscribe button there'll be plenty more videos coming soon again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video